The other day I went to a free seminar at a local community center. Since it was free, I didn't expect much. Usually at these things, they have some basic ideas in the first half and then some kind of an upsell during the second half. Only at this one, there was no upsell. Only some very powerful exercises that taught us how to partially unlock some of our latent psychic skills. I used to know these two guys back in college a long, long time ago. They were always looking for some way of scamming some money, and this was one con they came up with that worked for a while. The first step was to slowly go and shoplift a bunch of expensive items. They would go in pairs, dressed in suits, and have deep and complex conversations with the store manager. While this was happening, their associates would sneak around and steal stuff. There was this woman in her mid-40s who had this very powerful income generation technique based on covert sex hypnosis. She'd order a pizza and sexually hypnotize the delivery guy. He'd have a memory of having a very erotic sexual experience and he would come back once a week and repeat this process. But there was no sex going on. There was only brainwashing. Long ago, there was this very strange cult. It was surrounded by a lot of mythology. The only thing people knew about this cult was that it brought in a lot of money. They were always having outrageous sex parties. And the cult leader was this ultra-dominant, intensely charismatic person that had indescribable and metaphysical powers of ancient alchemic magic. A reporter had spent years trying to infiltrate this cult and she finally did. And it was just like they said, all kinds of sex parties. Tons of money flowing in from the rich and the famous. But it took her a year on the inside before she was finally granted an audience with a cult leader. They all warned her not to make direct eye contact, that to gaze directly upon him would mean certain death. She asked all the other cult members about how to speak to him, and she couldn't find anybody who had actually spoken to him. When she finally met him, she was very confused. He looked at her and said, This is an experiment that got way out of control. I was a psychology student and I decided to start a cult for my senior research project. I studied all the most powerful cults and I tried to reverse engineer the most powerful cult leaders. But this experiment has been so successful, I'm trapped inside of this. I don't get any of the money, and I don't get any of the sex. Everything you've heard about this cult is a myth that has been driven by organic evolution of sex and drugs and non-stop money flow. Unfortunately, part of the myth of the cult leader is that he is so powerful that he consists and subsists only on the bare minimum, that he lives life as an ascetic, which means I'm always hungry, I only drink water, and I live here alone while everybody around me is always taking drugs and having non-stop sex orgies. Once a week, they go to her house and bring her half of their money, but they have altered memories of what happened before this. They only remember getting half of their tips and having tons of sex, neither of which is true. Because of her powerful sex hypnosis, she's got about 20 delivery boys bringing her money once a week. After they got their raw materials, they would sell them door to door. They would pretend they were raising money for charity and local businesses had donated the stuff they were selling. A very interesting take on the old game of stealing and selling stolen goods. In the afternoon, after we had Cal Celebrated our psychic skills, we practice reading each other. Somebody would say the category and then think of content within that category. For example, somebody would mention dessert food as the category and then they would think of a specific item within that category. By the end of the day, we were hitting about 90% accuracy, which means that if you can figure out what category people are thinking of, you can learn to read minds with 90% accuracy. He did allude to an advanced seminar where we'd learn how to specifically program people to think certain thoughts. So I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for this. Because when this comes, this will be something that you want very much.